uh, not even six o'clock in the morning and I got to get this repair done because I'm helping somebody move at seven <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get right on it it should be a fairly straightforward repair just a couple little sensors and away we go so I think we're gonna need a screwdriver and a 10 millimeter wrench to complete this job check it out <coughs> Nissan. Uh, this is the V6 3.5 liter and uh, it does have the overhead cam situation I believe. I don't know a whole lot about the uh, makeup of this engine but we're going to take a look at where these uh, two parts reside so we'll set that in there and if you can see there's a little clip right here and there's a little 10 millimeter bolt right there uh, that's what we're after on the front. So we've got a front and a rear. So that's the front one. And then back here, there's a little green clip uh, with the same situation, a little 10 millimeter bolt. And uh, we'll take that out of there. We'll take the position sensor out of there and we'll be done. go there's what we're after so uh, there's our little sensor pull the clip off of here we got to do a little detail video here of the cam position sensor clip uh, that's what you'll see when you get in here and I'll probably break this out just because I think there's enough people that uh, may not figure this clip out uh, but you don't push here you actually I hope you can see this. You push in on this, so you push that all the way in, so this direction. Uh, and then when you do that, it will release our sensor, maybe, yep, just like that. So when you clip the new one in, um, and we'll just go ahead and do that, uh, when you clip the new one in, it goes in like so, and you can see the sensor spring back, so that's how you do it. We're going to just go ahead and reinstall while I got you on here. In fact, uh, let's let's take this guy back off here. And uh, it'll almost, almost spring off on you. It's kind of weird. But uh, this has to go all the way in. If it doesn't go all the way in, uh, you're not going to get it. And now we're dealing with aftermarket. There it goes, yeah. I always say, you know, I need bigger hands and tighter spaces. Yeah. You can take a bunch more hoses off than what I have if you uh, are into that kind of thing. But, uh, let's see here. Basically, we'll set that guy in the hole. And then uh, it does have a little rubber O-ring on it. There. And... Uh, We'll get that bolt in position, hopefully, and not drop it. Yep, we dropped it. Okay, good. It didn't go very far. There we go. I appear to have hooked it there. There we go. We're doing it, uh, doing it in there like the Germans do, good and tight, good and tight. So. Our uh, sensor is now in, and we just got a little clippy clip uh, to clip on there. And uh, of course, I can't see anything, and I'm backwards on that. Sorry, the green part doesn't go toward the engine. So we snapped in, and uh, we've pulled our clip back. Right there, it is that easy to install it. So hopefully, I'm not making you guys sick with the shaky cam there. So that's number one, and I just checked the clock. It took me under 12 minutes with all the uh, camera guy in here and uh, getting the light ready and getting all my tools out and figuring out that I needed a little uh, wobbly extension there or U-joint or whatever you want to call that. 
on the socket to make that easier and uh, figuring that little clip out so uh, we'll get on the back one there I'm guessing that'll take us uh, about five minutes and we'll be done with this job our little 10 mil bolt and uh, this guy try and do it so you can see it increases the level of difficulty here so the Olympic judge should give me a better score uh, but we'll just sneak this little guy out of there and you can see they're kind of oil covered when you take them out uh, but this is the straight one the one uh, toward the front of the car has a little kink in it this one's straight in the rear there so uh, I'll see if I can set you guys down and get this clip off of there. There it goes. So, uh, that one... Uh, yeah, I don't know what we did there. We might have broke a little clip there, a little clip action. Let's see. Yep. Got a little uh, chunk of green there. So hopefully our clip will remain working. But there we go. <clears throat> This is all probably much easier if you take all the crap out of the way. But uh, there we got her set in. And uh, we'll just grab our little bolt here. And hopefully I can find a path in from the other side. But the camera isn't. Ooh. There we go. I don't think you guys can probably see anymore. And uh, there you go. Hopefully you can see that. So we've got our my bolt on there, and uh, if I can find my little wrench here, you can see how tight uh, tight the quarters are here. Uh, my hands mashed up against something. I don't know what that is, but uh, just kind of turn with the old uh, knurling on the back of the wrench, and we'll get this sucker tight. We are good and tight there, and uh, our last little task is to uh, pop that guy back on there and the little green piece of plastic we had there doesn't seem to be affecting uh, the ability for that thing to grab on so that's it for our cam sensor replacement and that's uh, that's an easy job if I could do those every day I could probably make lots of money and uh, this particular repair is a uh, hundred bucks per Per piece there I think is what they plan for the Nissan technicians so they make good money um, let's see no it's more than 100 bucks it's about 150 so they plan on uh, about a hundred dollars in parts uh, maybe just a tick more than a hundred bucks in parts and then uh, I think the total was four four fifty for labor and parts and uh, there we go that's what I was looking for. Labor and parts was about 450. So uh, you can do the math there. About 350 dollars in labor to uh, get this done. And I'm sitting here trying to put this clip on one-handed, and it's not working real well. But uh, that sucker there at the air intake uh, can help you if you take that off. So that is it for this repair. I don't know what time it is. I can't see, but I know it's. Uh, it's before 6.30, so we were under 40 minutes, start to finish, and that involved all the camera work and uh, and that sort of thing. And here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Wipers on. Sounds good. Started right up. Take it for a little test run. That's it for the Murano. Don't let you be late.